weather tray. It's a spring weekend here in Iowa. That means a lot of events, but so far the weather today, a little gross outside. <laughs> That's right. If you don't want the rain, unfortunately we do have it, but it is something we need considering we did in the month of May on a dry note. It's still raining right now in Marshall County. You can see the rain showers continuing in that area, but we'll head down to the southern end of the state right now. Lamona, you actually have a little bit of clearing in your sky, so the temperatures are warming up there. This is a look at where we're continuing to see those showers this afternoon. You can see just to the northeast of the Des Moines metro area. This is that complex of storms that came through this morning, still producing quite a bit of shower activity from Marshall County on up in the parts of Grundy County and then extending northeast toward the Waterloo area. We'll pan back down to the southwest because this is our next area of development that we'll be watching here just to the south of Creston over toward Lamoni and then down toward the Highway 2 corridors. We're anticipating more scattered showers and thunderstorms to develop as we get into this afternoon. So through around 2 o'clock, expect mostly cloudy skies as temperatures warm back into the upper 70s. We'll likely peak in the low 80s with the best chance of thunderstorms occurring uh, between the 4 and 8 p.m. hours. And then after that, later on this evening, we'll keep skies mostly cloudy as temperatures drop into the lower 70s and then ultimately in the 60s by tomorrow morning. This is the current pattern we're in right now. Very strong high pressure out to the east and a low pressure out to the west. That's funneling in strong southerly winds and bringing in that humidity, setting us up for the chance of scattered showers and storms. We'll continue to watch that next wave of activity push in throughout the mid afternoon into the early evening hours. Again, don't take this verbatim. Again, these will be very scattered, but if you get under one of these storms, you could expect some very heavy rain, maybe some small hail. But once we lose that daytime heating here, as we get into this evening, we'll see most of that activity fade away. We'll start Friday morning, mostly cloudy with perhaps a stray shower or thunderstorm. But as we increase the amount of heat during the afternoon hours, we'll see new activity develop, especially roughly from 2 p.m. lasting through sunset tomorrow evening. So hopefully if you need the rain, you get in on it. Otherwise, we do have a hot and dry pattern on the way later this weekend as this high pressure ridge begins to back up to the west. Take a look at what that does to our temperatures this weekend. We're in the upper 80s tomorrow, but likely approaching 90 for both Saturday and Sunday. And then we're slow to cool off as we head into the early parts of next week. High temperatures today back in the lower 80s. A few of us may stay in the 70s if you get under some of those thunderstorms. And then tonight, a warm and humid evening here with temperatures falling back into the low to mid 60s. Here's your eight day forecast. Again, we have a 40% chance of thunderstorms tomorrow. For those of you headed out to the principal charity classic, it should be pretty decent in the morning, just partly to mostly cloudy skies and humid conditions with that chance of thunderstorms arriving in the afternoon. Temperatures warming back into the mid to upper 80s and then we'll be near 90 on Saturday and Sunday with those storm chances gradually diminishing as that ridge of high pressure builds in. But we do see a slight cool down there as we get into the middle to end of next week.